I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web fishing report. Well, this week's report is very similar to last week in that holdover striped bass and trout are leading the way. Winter flounder reports are increasing once again, but the consistently absent report is of any sort of decent spring blackfish bite taking place. Not sure if this is a result of few people trying for them, the cold water temps, or a little bit of both, but I hope that this fishery kicks in soon as our friends to the south have been banging away at some big fish, including a pending New Jersey state record tog landed over the weekend, which weighed in at an impressive 25.37 pounds. Check out the story posted at thefisherman.com for complete details. Well, a few weeks ago I posted a first installment of a pair of articles which outlined some popular surf fishing spots on Block Island at thefisherman.com. This was quite popular and I posted it part two last week which picks up around Southwest Point and covers the entire western side of the island. So head on over to thefisherman.com, give it a look and let me know what you think. Moving on to the reports, as always we're going to start in Connecticut where I'd like to welcome a new advertiser this week, the Bates Motel in Woodbridge, Connecticut. They'll be adding to our middle and western sound coverage as well as freshwater reports this year. And this week's report pass along word of some excellent trout catches being made in their area as well as a much improved holdover striped bass fishery going on in the Housatonic River. I also received word of more reports of winter flounder catches in Connecticut with the hot spots being around Niantic Bay and Norwalk Harbor. Fisherman subscriber William Harrison sent me a picture of a pair of flatties that he landed in Niantic over the weekend so that bite is definitely kicking into gear. Remember that winter flounder season is now open until December 31st in Connecticut with a two fish limit and a minimum length of 12 inches. In Rhode Island, much like last week, holdover striped bass and stock trout are the target of most local anglers. Mike at Watch Hill Outfitters reports the first stripers were landed along Squamic at Beach last week, but the more consistent bite remains in the salt ponds as well as the Narrow and Pocketuck rivers. Robin at Quanty Bait and Tackle got word of some steady pike and largemouth bass action to be had at Chapman and Worden Ponds and also said that most any DEM stocked lake, pond, or river is producing trout for local anglers. And up in Massachusetts, we got word from Kyle at Falmouth Bait and Tackle of a massive three pound, eight ounce brook trout landed on a nightcrawler. He said that they've been selling a lot of worms, small minnows, and the standby power bait to cape anglers hitting the local ponds as they wait for the saltwater fishing season to kick into gear. That was a common theme from all of our Massachusetts report stations this week. We also received another report of winter flounder being caught up in Massachusetts this week from Belson's Bait and Tackle as Plymouth, Har Plymouth Harbor coughed up its first confirmed flatty of the 2015 season. I've been getting widespread reports, however, of another increase in sandworm prices this year, so be prepared when you head to your local tackle shop for flounder bait. Well, there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web fishing report, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.